Randy surely shook with pride. He checked on his equipment and made sure his pack was tied. He had to sit and listen to those awful engines roar. You ain't gonna jump no more. How's it going guys? Hopman Spider here. Back with another 1v1. This time playing as the American Forces on uh, Farmstead. <clears throat> I, I was asked to play with the uh, US on one of my comets. So here's me running with the Defensive Doctrine. Maybe a little bit underutilized. American Doctrine. Trying to, trying to play the off-meta Doctrines a little bit. I'm not sure really what meta is with the states in 1v1 to be fair. Probably uh, it's a little bit of a toss-up between maybe irregular or all-around. But I find the offensive doctrines a little bit difficult with the uh, cost associated with the uh, troops. Regardless, though, the defensive doctrine had some uh, neat call-ins, like the Bofors Cannon, um, Engineers. has the 101st Airborne and some infantry, so very elite. Gotta have my Tim Hortons, you know, Canadian thing. So pushing into the middle with a squad. We got a couple detachments heading over to the southwest point. But looking to get control of the center early. Played a few games with this guy. So we were just having fun. Just a random lobby I joined. So we're just testing out uh, different doctrines, like I said, testing out different tactics. It's it's good to keep it fresh and, uh, you know, try try playing with uh, doctrines that you don't typically run. Bringing up lots of detachments, bringing up bar, a couple bar detachments. So there's another bar team heading over to the southwest. So right there, he's getting good position. You can see he's playing with the irregular uh, German doctrine. He's got those Luftwaffe troops. Making a stand on the hill. So I'm falling back falling back a bit because he's got good sight line down my uh down the wall there. <clears throat> Tough point to push for the uh, Americans or from the Allies on this side I find. So get a scout car, trying something a little different here. I see he's got good position there. So calling in a couple riflemen. Bazooka team. There we go. We got an armored car loaded up. Scout car. These guys are kind of getting pinned down right now. But you can see we're holding together on all the other points. Looking to push forward a bit here. Take the initiative, make it harder for them to push in. Got another BAR team there in the center. Trying to keep up that American fire superiority. So scout cars heading to the beach right now. Trying to throw them off here a little bit maybe. So running the scout car down the beach. I know he has boys all along that wall there, so I figured let's try something here, see if we can throw him off. So we're dismounting the infantry here. So now we're a bit behind his line, so now that we're behind the lines here a little bit, might throw him off. Bringing the scout car back. Oh, 
You can see we got the metal locked down, so I'm not too worried right now. So just using the scout car here. Looking to break his cover. <clears throat> It's always a handy move to break the cover on uh, the Axis side of this map. They don't really have good cover to start with. You can see a flamethrower. MG42 almost gets the better of the driver there. Just managed to get out. So here we go, bringing up a squad to reinforce. Five minute work, we're looking at 407 to 243. And first Doctrine's up, so let's see what he brings out. These troops are just over here in the field. Spots the bazooka guy. I was hoping to maybe hide him in a, in a bush or something. It's always handy to have a bazooka man in the bush. He is starting to cap the center. You can see there's some riflemen still holding out back behind his lines, so he has to worry about that. So first line unit, we pull up the uh, Bofors cannon. You can hear in the distance he's brought up some kind of vehicle. I'm guessing because of his doctrine, it's either the Flame Panzer or the Panzer One. But just from, judging from that sound, I think that's the Panzer One. You can see we got a little bit of a skirmish going on here between those uh, riflemen that were dropped off by the scout car. So very handy. Just a couple men kind of dismantle the squad back here. <coughs> see we're pushing back into that center. We are capturing it. Got our first captain up. You can hear that uh, Panzer One pushing forward. It's looking to make an appearance. But we do got uh, control back in the center here. There you go, Panzer One, making sight, making its first appearance on the map. It's got those dual uh, MG thirty fours. Quite a weapon to be had. And it's nearly impenetrable to uh, most weapons in the game. Most even even some anti-tank guns struggle with that with that thing because it's got 80 mil armor on the front. So don't underestimate the Panzer One. It's a uh, it's a weird unit. It can't kill anything really, like vehicle-wise. But it also can't die from a lot of tier one units. Like, this Bofors cannon has no chance versus that, so. Just looking to get the Bofors set up here to get some shots off. We do got a bazooka. Maybe try and deal with that Panzer One. Bofors cannon, always a very strong unit. Trying to relocate it to a good a good spot here. There we go. That that has a little bit more of a arc into the middle where he's at. There we go. Bofors cannon. Firing off shells into that center point. Great range. You can see he's pulling his Panzer one up. Getting another squad, bringing them over to the southwest point. You can see he's using that Panzer one to clear the bushes and my troops that are in the uh, exposed areas. Sounds like he's bringing another vehicle up. Possibly. This uh, map, or this match, does have a lot of good uh, vehicle combat. So it was quite fun that way. You can see here this bazooka lad. You 
get a hit on it, but like I said, it has 80 mil of armor. He's got a stug up there, stug, stug three, the late. Quite a beast of a unit. 75 millimeter KWK cannon. And it's got that remote control MG34 on the roof. Quite a beast. So I'm just holding out here, holding the middle out. Get another squad up here. Yeah, look at this this bazooka man. He's got a unique bazooka here. It's uh it's way stronger than a standard bazooka, so kinda neat. You can see that bazooka penetrates the front of that thing no problem. <clears throat> so now that that uh, Panzer One's dealt with, things will be a little easier. Knock it completely out. Like I said in other videos, you don't want to leave vehicles repairable. If something's repairable, you're vulnerable if they uh, decide to repair it. <clears throat> Bringing more troops up. Looking to make a push onto that southwest. <clears throat> I gotta say, I was having fun playing with the uh, Americans in this in this game. Moving the Bofors around, trying to find good firing positions. But yeah, we pull up a squad onto that southwest, and we're trying to capture it. You can see he's just reinforced the uh, the center with the squad. So we're just firing the Bofors into that house, trying to get some HE shells to blow off. I'm trying to fire into the window, because I know there's guys in there. Figure, you know, get the shells, HE shells inside that window. It'll explode inside the house. So we got a little bit of combat going on in that southwest. He's got the stug over there trying to reinforce the position. Get a second officer out at 11.53. Got more bazooka guys coming up trying to deal with that uh, stug. You can see we moved our uh, troops forward a bit there. Just to try and get them out of the fire range of that stug. What are we bringing up here? Maybe some uh, glider troops, I think, maybe. 101st Airborne, Screaming Eagles. One of my favorite series of all time, Band of Brothers. It, uh, it always makes me want to play the Defensive Doctrine just to play with the 101st. Get some easy company going up Kurhi. Looking to push this uh, Panzer III Stug, Sturmgeschütz. But he has too much infantry up there. You can see we got a little grenade war going on here. He's making a push. Bofors is going to go to work a little bit. I'm trying to find a good squad or a good spot to put it, but uh, struggling a bit. Bring up another bar team. Moving the Bofors. See the Stug's trying its best to get pot shots on it, take it out. Get the yellow bofer set up on the hill. Just taking pot shots. We got a, we got a lot of troops there ready to go into that center point and push. So we're making a push for it now. See the stug goes to fire at the Bofors. We move just in the nick of time. I'm not sure if he's got an officer on the point, but bringing up a flamethrower. I think he's got a lot of troops hidden in the houses. Kind of hoping to get my. Uh, 15 minute unit so doctrine number two you can see he's dug a trench in the center there so that's pretty neat to actually get a trench out like that you can 
plop an officer down prone in there. Pretty good protection from HE shells or whatnot. Yeah, you can see uh, <clears throat> we're 1440. There we go. He's got another Panzer I coming to deal with all my infantry. So, decide to buy a Hellcat M18 because the defensive doctrine doesn't have the best AT um, doctrine unit. So I figured, why not? Let's just get an M18 Hellcat. Try and make good work of his uh, tanks that he has. Do you get a 105 half track and a ammo supply for it? We're going to post that up on the hill. And there you can see we're uh, trying to flank that Panzer 1. Like I said, it does have very strong armor. But trying to hit it on the hatch on the side, we do detrack it. You see there's that little side door on it. That's a weak spot. Let's put a shell right through that door. And we're going to pump another one into it. There we go. She's down. She's not coming back. So looking to move that 105 up onto the hill here, where it can just fire. Ooh, I did. I was think I was moving too many things around here. Didn't notice that that uh, Bofors cannon was getting shot at. Start to move it. Takes a hit. Unfortunate. Gonna try and use the uh, M18 here to counter that Panzer or the uh, Sturmbruschitz, but he gets away. Unfortunate. So he destroys the Bofors there. Wasn't too worried. We're still holding it at that center point. Just looking to hide the M18 there on the other side of the hill. Wait for an opportune moment. So we're getting ready to set up the 105 here. Take some shots into that center. First shot, clear some of those uh, pioneers. Pionier. Luftwaffe troops. You can see this 105's got a good reload rate too. So it can just pump shells out. You can see it's got limited ammo supply, so you got to bring up a truck with it. Looking to send a couple guys over to the uh, north side here, just to make sure that no bazookas come around flank. Here we go. We see a Panzer III flame tank coming up. So it's time for the M18 to come come down and deal with it. I got my own flamethrower down there. Pumping shots into that Panzer III. He's also got a Panzer IV up on the hill. You can see the Stugs rushing in to uh, take on my M18. I back it up. Just the turret's showing on my M18 right now. So I just got the gun kind of sticking up. There we go. Punch right through the lower front plate. Now we're just going to keep pumping shells into it. The Stug does have good frontal armor, but that lower front plate is very susceptible to uh, AP. From like a 76 like that. Keep pumping shots into it. See, it's not going down just without a, just yet. There we go. That shot actually disables it. Hull crushed. Keep pumping a couple shots into it. I want to fully disable it. You can see there's some good combat going on in the center there. I'm not paying attention to it right right now. So he's got that Panzer III up and running. So before he can escape, bring it up the M18. Pump around into it. <clears throat> you can see he's got another Panzer IV working the corn working the uh, hill there. So pull up the M18 into range. Missed the first shot. He's trying to run away, but the, the old M18's got that Buick. 
V8 in it. Not going nowhere. I know he's there in the fog of war with a broken engine, but can't get eyes on him. Should have used an officer, maybe. <clears throat> Love the speed of the Hellcat, just the way it can move. So just looking to finish off some of the vehicles that were on the field there. Pump around to that Panzer III and uh, sets off the ammunition. Using the 105, trying to hit where that Panzer IV might have been. But uh, pretty much good control here now. We're at the 20 minute mark and it's 9.23 to 1.30. So we're kind of sitting pretty here. See what kind of counterattack he can mount. Got this M18 going around to flank the Stug. Put a, put a couple shots into the side. There we go. She's out of action for good. You can see it. The uh, hull destroyed there. She lit up on fire. Keeping the fire support coming in from that 105. Very handy unit. I love that position on the map too. It's just behind the defilade. So you can see he's got that Panzer IV fixed, possibly. Finally, my flamethrower goes down. He was giving, uh, giving those guys the fits over there. Panzer IV coming in. I think it's maybe the Doctrine Panzer IV, not sure. M18's coming to deal with it. It's been doing a lot of work for us. You can see how far he's pushing that Panzer IV up. So we come pumping AP around through that front plate. He is capping the center. Looking to use the 105 here. Find out where his uh, maybe officer is. I got quite a bit of troops in that center, so I'm not sure. Another tank coming in. Quite a bit of MP. Or I guess it's a f another flame tank. M18 taking shots at it. There we go. Panzer IV is down. Pop the turret off. There we go. Another tank coming in. So already that uh that M18's proven it's it's worth. We got some 101st Airborne squad coming up. Push the southwest. Hopefully it's easy company. Be able to take it like they took the uh the guns in the trench line. Got the Luftwaffe troops. It's just like the battle of Blood the Battle of uh, Bloody Gulch. <laughs> got some uh, airborne versus Luftwaffe troops. You just need some uh, Falschmeggers to get the Green Devils out. <clears throat> you know. Get, get uh, Lieutenant Spears in there. Making the assault. So that M18's got 5 tank kills and 14 infantry kills. What a beast. Bringing up that engineer squad. But as you can see, the 101st Airborne here. Carrying us through. I actually really like this 105 and this uh, Doctrine. It's kind of neat. It's nice to try something a little, uh, little different. Might have to try it again. Getting some more ammunition for the uh, Hellcat. But like I said, the game's kind of... Stopped here at 968, but now we're starting to cap those uh, 101st Airborne Elite Troops did capture the Southwest. See it, 
Two more tanks coming in. Madness. So the M18 is going to come around. Looks like we're dealing with a Hetzer. Perfect little flank position right now. Oh, missed the shot. He starts rotating his, his uh, body towards me. Using the speed of the M18 to push down the hill. Pump another round into the side, but there's the game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe for more Gates of Hell content. Appreciate it. Have a good day.